Witnesses and police say it's basically a miracle that nobody was killed after gunfire rings out at a Waffle House. Now, Colonial Heights police searching for what they think are multiple shooters. A lot of gunshots. Littering the parking lot of the Colonial Heights Waffle House. At least 100 spent shell casings. I was sleeping and I heard boom, boom, and I got her two shots, then I got up. Whenever I got up, I heard probably 20 more shots. A barrage of gunfire exchanged around 2.30 Saturday morning following what police say was a late night argument between two groups. They started shooting at the Waffle House and ended up at my house. Uh, shooting a hole in my tailgate. Mike Johnson lives in the nearby neighborhood and he woke to bullet holes and casings on his property. Sound like an AK-47 was in the parking lot at the Waffle House and it sounded like a pistol over here shoot. And sure enough, last night they were ripping the bullets off. I'm surprised that more damage won't be done around here. Two victims driving themselves to the hospital for police. Neither injury is life threatening, officials say. Prior to the initial shooting, several individuals were inside the Waffle House. An argument between the individuals broke out that spilled out into the parking lot where we had what resulted was several individuals firing weapons at each other. While investigators searched for multiple shooters in the crowd that scattered after. Afterwards, they're asking for help identifying this person of interest who was inside prior to the chaos. A couple people have an argument, and instead of agreeing to disagree and walking away, they decide to go outside and uh, turn it into gunfire that could have killed anybody. We have those surveillance images you just saw on WTVR.com. Call Chesterfield Colonial Heights Crime Solvers if you have any information that can help identify that person in the Bulls jersey. The number at the bottom of your screen, 748 